Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and since the last episode I've done a little bit of off-camera stuff, I say a little bit, I've done a very little amount but it did take a lot of time. I went and found some flurry boots, right, and I had to world hop for this, I had to go to New World to try and find it and it took a hell of a long time but I finally have uh, the Spectre boots now so we can cross that off the list of things I needed to do. Did that off-camera just to save us some time but literally it's like an hour and a half. And let me tell you, man, when you've got to record an episode and you spend an hour and a half beforehand just mindlessly looking for something really obscure, it really knocks the life out of you. So we need to have something really fun to do today so that I have restored my faith in Terraria. So, we have a brand new NPC. I've not finished this little home area yet, but he's called Gregory the Blacksmith. Even a broken clock is right every week. Or was it a day? So what's this? You get steel armor. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, obviously, like, not as good as what we've already got because it's kind of a low-tier NPC. Uh, he sells an axe that gives 55% axe power. So what's ours got at the minute? Well, it's got 35, so we'll just get rid of that and get that. Awesome. I've got a lot of gold at the minute as well because I found two coin portals, which is awesome. So that's cool. A little NPC is going to liven up the place. Right, let's speak to the Goblin Tinkerer as well because we're going to get some stuff reforged. I know that I'm keeping the obsidian shields. We're going to get this to menacing. Oh, oh. Did I use all the money then? Yep, used all the money. Oh, I've still got stuff in my... Um... Wait, keep it going. Yeah, alright, okay. I still had money in my um, little piggy bank. Right, I want to get this to menacing too. Do you want? I'll take warding for now. Uh, I don't know why I've got the radar equipped. I think it had a good buff. No, it didn't. It didn't even have a good buff. Right, that's really stupid. Right, I'm going to... Menacing on this. Come on. Menacing. Wow. When you want menacing, you never get menacing. You know what I mean? Oh, God, I hate wasting all of the monies on accessories. Okay. Alright, so that's going to do it. I'll tell you what, I may as well sell while I'm here this stuff. I don't need it. Um, Obsidian Rose, reduce damage from touching lava. We're going to get rid of that. Fish Scale. Oh yeah, this is uh, something I got when killing fish, but we are going to sell it. Stingers. We're just going to sell a bunch of uh, useless stuff that we don't particularly need for now. Right, okay. So, we're going to keep them ice gates as well. Icy Boomerang, get rid of it. Ice Mirror, get rid of it. Right, okay, that has given us 10 gold, so we'll, what we'll do is we'll reforge whatever else we're going to use. So, um, I guess they will do. Oh, come on, one more reforge. One more. Guarding. One more. Guarding. One more. Armoured. One more. Warding. Okay, I'll take warding. Warding's not too bad, actually. Alright, so we have a little roster of accessories and weapons now. So I think we can go and kick the wall of flesh up a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to get straight into a wall of flesh fight. Going to take it down, get the hard mode ball rolling. And then going to, on the next episode, finish the house completely. Make sure it's nice and set so we're ready for hard mode. Move all the chests over as well off camera, which will take a little bit of time. And then that should do it. The reason I am rushing into hard mode, if you haven't been watching the series thus far... I rush into hard mode, especially now, because I'm rushing in so that we can basically... Basically, we've got a mod in the mod pack, the Chippy's Crazy Coding Contraction, which I have not yet said yet. Um, oh no, it's Chippy's Crazy Coding Contraction Construction. A little bit better. So, I'm doing all this because there's a mod that we need to use, blah blah blah. It's in the late game. I'm sure you guys get it. Right, so let's whack in our mushroom. Do I have any ore on me? I believe I have some ore. I can't remember which one I keep ore in. All these chests will be properly organized soon. I swear. Right, okay. So let's get some... Oh, look at this. Demon safe. Right. Oh, tungsten shield. So nice. Right, where is our little uh, crafting station? Right, so let's get a regen. An iron skin. And then what we'll do is... Let's think about what we're going to use. So we're going to use the force hammer. So we're going to use force hammer... A bit of the arachnophobia. I found this, by the way. I thought that was kind of cool just to show off. So I say, let's see. Let's see the archery potion. Increased arrow speed and damage. 
Ah, see, I didn't know if it would just help with ranged in general. I think that's all we're going to get, really. Yeah, I think that's all we're going to get. I don't think we're going to get anything else other than that that's going to really help us in this fight. We'll have to think of something else. We do want them bean aids, don't we? So we'll give these a craft. Pretty sure I've already got some, though. Is it this or... Oh, look at that wolf claw. Oh, because we've got the wolf pelt stuff open. Oh, man, we never got to finish this, did we? Because we couldn't find any more alpha claws, which kind of sucks. It kind of sucks, but there it is. Right, let's have a little look in the weapons section. I believe we have bean aids. We got them somewhere because we did get some. There we go, right there. Right, so let's knock these on the head. Let's just move all of this. I'm just going to get rid of some stuff. I know you guys probably want me to... Actually, we will keep that one. We'll put that in the potions tab. Right, I think we're ready. I know I'm doing a little bit of, like, talking to myself kind of stuff right now. So, regen, Irons, Contagious Sense. Yeah, sure. I think that'll do it. I think we're, we're pretty good at the Wall of Flesh. I think we need, though, we need a longer platform. So, what I will do is I'll take some extra blocks if I've got any. And we'll extend the bridge if I think it's too small. Because we may lose the first fight, but that's okay if we do. We can always extend the bridge and carry on. So we'll whack that in there. Alright, so it's time to do this. I have a lot of faith in us. I have a hell of a lot of faith in us. One, because I have gotten pretty good at the Wall of Flesh. Shout out to the ambulance outside. I've gotten pretty good at the Wall of Flesh. And two, we've got some pretty awesome weapons. And three, I know I said I would only give two reasons, but three, I have a good feeling about today. I have a really good feeling like I say, when you do an hour and a half of doing absolutely nothing but looking for an obscure item, you need something fun and challenging to get you back into Terraria. Because I love Terraria with the adventure and the exploration and playing around with these mods which are just super fun, uh, which I linked in the description. But when you have to look for boring stuff, when you have to grind in this game, this game really takes it out of you. It really, really does. But, like I say, I have faith. And uh, I think I think we'll do it. And if we don't do it, we'll do it the second time. And it'll all be good. Right, so, just to clarify a few things, just for people that are kind of new. Uh, the mods we're currently rocking are the Tremor mod, the Thorium mod, and the Pumpkin mod. Now, I started this series about a month ago now. And I just want to throw this out there, because I know you eager listeners know this, but some people don't. I haven't updated the mods since I started the series because I don't want anything to break. Right, there have been changes since I've, like, like got them, basically. And I see a lot of people writing on the forums like, hey, Chippy doesn't have this or Chippy doesn't have that, uh, to the mod developers themselves. And uh, I see it all the time and I just want to say, you know, I've not updated, so don't, if, you, if we see an issue, don't tell them, don't let them know. It's probably fixed by now, so... But yeah, so you don't want, when you update mods, they can sometimes break, they can sometimes become incompatible and such. The reason I've not updated them is because I want this series to last as long as possible in terms of progression. And I don't want to end it because, hey, I updated and we broke something and I've got to end it. So I want to have fun on Chippy's crazy coding contraption construction. Hell yeah, getting better at that one. So, uh, so yeah, I didn't update it. Right, okay, let's extend this bridge just a tiny little bit more. I tell you what, it is pretty long, isn't it? But it's definitely not long for a wall of flesh, long enough for a wall of flesh fight. I tell you what, it's probably best building it the other way. I know I'm walking this way now, but we still have to wait for a guide voodoo doll, don't we? Because we don't have one, do we? We've got a little creepy crawler spider over there, though. All right, let's get a little slime stuff going. Oh, yeah, nice little slime. I think we already had one, didn't we? Okay, good. Right, so like I say, we're going to be using the Thor's hammer. Which is absolutely awesome. If you guys haven't seen this yet, you can swap it to different um, stuff. So that's like, this is like the magic one. So we could use it magic and then add a bit of extra stuff. Or you can swap it over to melee. So like we could do this and like start smashing people around the head with it. Not as fun the melee one. And then you get the ranged one, which is like kind of how he uses it in the, uh, in the, in the movie. Because I'll be honest, I've not read the comics, right? I don't think many people can truly say they've read a, a full comic. But if you have, I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, let's let's get rid of these guys. And obviously, if we do not win, we do have the backup. Or if we start losing, we do have the backup weapon, right? The legendary um, arachnophobia, which is insanely overpowered. Insanely, insanely overpowered. But it's really good for getting out of a, a tight situation that we might get stuck in, obviously beating this guy. So I kind of like having it around. I feel guilty for using it sometimes, though, because it is a little bit overpowered, like I say. 
but I'm well aware of it. So if we if we if we're honest and we open up about it, I think it's fine. Right, I'm taking a lot of damage here, uh, but it's just because I just can't be bothered to kill him. Yeah, I was waiting for that. Did you see my slime popping in there? Yeah, I was just waiting for that. Okay, right. So we do have a little bit of farming to do. Got a little bit of farming, so we just need to keep killing enemies, keep deep, uh, keep and tip diving, and dodging around, and then hopefully we shall. Um, Okay, good. I'll tell you what, did I bring actually... Ah, oh, no, I didn't actually bring any good healing potions. Well, that's kind of annoying, but we do have some stuff down here that we can use for uh, well, some pots, and hopefully we'll get some potions from these, so let's destroy some pots as we wait. It's a little bit of a waiting game today as we wait for the guide voodoo doll, but I think we'll find it pretty fast. I think, uh, I think we'll be good. I have faith in it. I have faith in it. Let me just destroy these ones up here. Well, this one healing potion. There you go. That'll do. Just one will do. I know we haven't got any like not greater ones, but the 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 ones that are better than that. I can't remember what they're called to be honest, off the top of my head. But we don't have any ones that are better than that. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a quick jump cut ahead, and we'll get that guide voodoo doll. Okay, here we go. Got a guide voodoo doll. So it is time to fight this thing. And like I say, if we lose it, it's completely cool. Uh, we're allowed to lose boss fights every now and again. Right, okay. Where did I build the skybridge to? It's just a little bit past this point, isn't it? I think this will be a long enough. If you guys don't know, our granite armor actually gives us invulnerability to um, to lava and such. So I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Let's uh, get this spawned in, though. Got to make sure we're getting it at the right angle as well. So I'm just going to break down all these blocks so we can get onto this platform and just kind of get at it when we, uh, when we start. So I'll do this. Right, get rid of that dude, and... You guys ready? Buff up. Okay. So, start with the B-nades. Well, we are going to start... Why have we got invisible? Oh, great. Got a little glitch there. Got the invisibility glitch. <laughs> I'm sure Harry Potter knows something about this one. <laughs> Bit of an odd one, isn't it? Right, so we've got to use these kind of spearingly, apparently. Because that makes them more effective. Wow, these really do kick ass. They kick absolute ass. Gotta let them bees get at it. Right, okay. One more. Ooh, that one didn't explode. Uh, we'll just do that. Come on. Alright, Thor's hammer time. Hammer time. <laughs> Thor's hammer time. Alright, we're at a perfect angle with this little one, aren't we? The one at the bottom, which is doing the most damage, which is kind of nice. Oh, Thor's hammer, man. Really does the stuff. Oh, this is ace. Look at that. Just completely just... Annihilating this dude. Yeah, we uh, we had, we didn't even need to build this sky bridge. I could have I could have done this. Okay, that is awesome though. Look at that. That is a quick fight. All right, coming up to its end now. Coming up to the end. Oh, it is faster than us though. All right, what did we get? We got ranged emblem. Yeah, I guess that's not too bad actually. Ranged emblem. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll tell you what, I will take. I will take if there is another one handed to me right now. So we'll wait a minute. Ah, oh, piece of flesh. If you guys don't remember this, there is flesh armor. It's part of the Tremor mod. So what I'll do is I'll wait a minute and I'll see if we can get another fight going. If I can get another guide voodoo doll. One appears to me pretty fast. Oh, we didn't bring any purification powder. I always forget to bring purification powder for this dude. The tortured soul. Literally, on every single world I have, I don't have him. Because I always forget to get him. And then by the time I want him, it's kind of too late. Oh, I wonder if he factors in all my uh, all my mod NPCs. That'd be cool. We'd get a little bit more money and such. All right, these are big ones, aren't they? So they're like hard modey ones. Okay, interesting. Wow, look at that for us damage. Oh, is it because my my uh, baby slime's doing too much? Yeah, it is. All right, that makes me a little bit less scared. And I like this guy. Look at this. All right, I said this would be an awesome weapon. We crafted this out of the magma ore to the magma core. And uh, yeah, I really, really like it. But I bet this guy's going to break up into loads of little bits, isn't he? Yeah, you ready? Yep, yeah, three of them. Oh, no. So that's like nine in total then, because these have three each, don't they? Oh, kind of clever. Ten in total then, I guess. Oh, that's nice. All right, okay. Need another guide voodoo doll. So we're going to wait another little minute. We're going to see if we can get one. Because I don't have to... Oh, Mimic. Hey, Mimic. That's not bad. Give us... What have I got on me? I've got Feral Claws. Give us a Titan Glove. Give us a Titan Glove or a Philosopher's Stone. Eh, Jewel Hook. I don't know how I feel about Jewel Hook. Is a Jewel Hook got a better range than a, uh, a Skeleton one? 
I can't remember. I imagine it does, because it's a uh, hard mode one. I mean, they get it in the hard modes. Huh, I don't know. Oh man, this guy is beefy as all hell. He is a beefy dude, but the good thing is, he's also very, 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 very slow, so... We can, we can kind of take this guy on pretty easily. And he is dead. Because once he gets down to them lower halves, look, these are nothing. We've killed hundreds of these, I feel like. Oh, look at him. All dead. <laughs> I like that none of them have death animations. That kind of makes me laugh a little bit. Right. Uh, every time I see these little purple things, I'm like, yes, that's a chance for another guide voodoo doll. Come on, if we get this done, because then we can have a crack at flash armor, right, which we saw in our other series, which is kind of cool. I can't remember the specifics of it. And then um, and then we can get another emblem, so we can start making stuff like the Avengers emblem soon, and uh, stuff like that when we defeat the Destroyer and we get our Souls of Might or Souls of Fright or whatever. I think you need all three. Oh, I may be confused there. Hmm. i tell you what, I'd take a... Um, do they all come with emblems? Sometimes you get weapons, don't you? You don't always get a, an emblem. Man, there was one series where I uh, looked for... A, I can't remember which it was. I think it might have been a Summoner's emblem. Or it might have been some other emblem. It might have been... I think it was my expert mode one where I was looking for a, a melee emblem and uh, I just never got it and I waited ages and ages and ages for it. Alright, okay, we're going to give this a little bit of a miss. We're going to go back to the surface. Oh, look at that. Do you know what? I didn't notice me picking that up. That's awesome. I love it when you get mechanical weapons, uh, mechanical summoning items. Oh, that is cool. That is really cool. Right, so flesh armor. Seven. Six. Oh, I don't have enough for the helmet. But you can see here, seven defense, seven defense, and it increases your max number of minions. So that's got 11 defense. So it's a minion weapon set. That's kind of cool, actually. That's actually pretty cool indeed. Let's make another, uh, make another staff. Nice. Right, so we need to go do the cliche thing of breaking all the uh, all the shadow orbs, actually. Or all, all the demon, all the demon altars. So we're off to the demon altars to go break them. Got a nice nifty new hammer. And we are in hard mode, everyone. I have, I have pretty good faith in us in hard mode because we've already started off with a hurtful magma pole arm, which is just kind of awesome, to be honest. Oh, look at this. A nice little protection there because they can't come past the tree and we can fly over it. I like that. I like that. It's good home design there for a home that's not finished yet. All right, so let's jump over here. This is where we are looking for all the wolves for ages. Man, the nostalgia. Already bringing me back. Okay, which one is it? All right, I think it's the second one. It's the second one we need to jump down. Oh, Alpha Wolf. Alpha Wolf, come to us, please, so we can finish our set. Yes. Give us your Alpha Claw. Hell yeah. All right, okay, we got we got an Alpha Claw. It's me talking about Wolf Pelts earlier, saying we can't get an Alpha. Is there going to be another one? Oh, it's an Omega Wolf. Man, because if we could finish the set, I'd feel really good about it. I'd feel really good about it, because then we're kind of sticking to the theme that I wanted to do. Like I said, I wanted to um, get a lot of uh, armors and such and weapons and such from all the mod packs just for fun. And uh, that would help us out a lot. Okay, let's go down here. We should take us into the open... Yeah, the open cavern. Alright, what we got? Palladium? Please be titanium. Mithril? Oh, it's adamantite. Gutting. Gutting. I much prefer titanium to adamantite at the minute. Just with my current play style. So, that is quite a few of them smash. You want to really smash quite a lot of them just so you can get more chances of ore. Like, I usually just kind of run through here and just smash whichever ones I can. Oh, do you know what? I've just realised we've got so many wraiths on us, it's actually kind of mental. Alright, we'll get rid of these. Look, Force Hammer just doing complete ponage to the wraiths. And wraiths ain't seen no Force Hammer before. Now they has, and we wins. <laughs> Alright, okay. These are done, so let's finish them up. Come on, buddy. Come on. There we go. There we go. Man. And what we're going to do is, straight after this, we're uh, we're going to end the episode of this. But in the next episode, I'm going to finish the house, make the house look all pretty. So we've got a nice little base of operations, which makes me feel good. And uh, we can have a nice little area, because so we're going to make a nice little area for all our new armors and stuff. Like, Because obviously this mod pack is going to get a little bit bigger now. And uh, yeah, it makes me really excited. So we're going to go back to the house. And then we're also going to do a big mining trip next episode. So we're going to go for... Cobalt, Mithril, and Amantite. Once we've got that armor set going, then we can start basically getting into like more of the moddy stuff. So, like hard mode versions of mod weapons. Alright, so thank you all for watching. My name is James. 
thank you for checking out the series. It honestly means so, so much. It really means a ton. So thank you all for watching. My name is James, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.